Hey guys, welcome to the first vlog on my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button somewhere over here. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. I wanted to share with you my trip to Quebec City where I met two fantastic guitar luthiers, uh, Loic Bourteau and uh, Julien Soublé. Uh, we started talking on Instagram the other day and uh, I told him it would be real. I told Julian it's, it's gonna be really cool to try out your guitars. And uh, he offered me to come and check him out and try them out. So I took him on his offer and I went up to Quebec City with the family. Fam took my family for a little trip and uh, we met. So uh, I wanted to share this little trip with you. Uh, it's going to have two parts this vlog. Uh, this part is going to be with Julian and his uh, workshop and his guitars. And the second vlog is going to be out next week with, with Loic and his guitars and uh, the guitars that he builds. At the end of this video you can check out some samples of the guitars that I played. I played on the Grand Auditorium which is the larger size body that Julian builds. And I also played on the uh, OM model which is more like a double O guitar, a double O Martin size I believe. Uh, so hopefully you like it and I'll see you on the next vlog. All right. I just woke up in Montreal on our way to Quebec City to meet Julian. Uh, yesterday we drove until 11 p.m. and then we fell asleep. Uh, woke up this morning, had breakfast. Now we're heading to see Julian. All right, see you there. Bunch of pies here. I'm gonna get one for Julian. Where is the apple pie? Apple pie, apple pie. Pecan pie. Apple pie. We arrived. I think this is the place. Let's see. Let's go check him out. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Here, got you oh. some good, something to eat. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> That's very nice of you. <laughs> this is Julian. Hi. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the lab. So this is oh, kind nice. of the jam room. Kind of. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> And this side is the machinery room. Yeah. So we have the very uh, basic, basic. Uh, <laughs> machinery <laughs> we need, but not much. A pencil, uh, jointer, table, uh, router, and a sender. Wow. So really the basics, and for the big uh, for the big work, uh, we can access to the Luthery School in Quebec, which is like two kilometers from here. Yeah. So yeah, that, nice. that's pretty handy. <laughs> so so we don't have to to get the, all the big guns here. Yeah. yeah. Nice. We don't have no space for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it definitely can be optimized uh, more, but sweet. Throws. Wow. A lot of wood over there, right? Yeah, this is Luke's place, and you will only use my place. Oh, this is Luke's place? Uh, no, this is mine. Oh, this is yours? Yeah. Yeah, I saw this one. This is the called uh, uh, yeah, Grand Auditorium, the right? Uh, yeah. Nice. And what do you use this for? laminating like the site of the next Grand Auditorium, which is Cocobolo site. So just to prevent some, some cracks or whatever, I just laminated with a uh, black veneer mm -hmm. with a sandball there, braced wow. already. Lovely shade. How cool is that? I've never seen the inside like that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. The unknown side of the, the guitar. The dark side. <laughs> the inside. And these are the sizes that you use? Yeah, these are the templates to, to support the, the guitar while building. Yeah. yeah, here we are. 
are in the former resting room of Loic <laughs> when this was on a, a workshop. So yeah, here we here I work, starting to two guitars too. This one is going to be a grand auditorium with a Synchro Red Cedar 2, the same as the Moonshine we saw earlier. Um, with, uh, with the bracing and the second one will be a, a no one model with uh, the glass sphere and uh, in general through the back and side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of fun doing these. Uh, binding the sides there, laminating the, the side with black veneer in Coca Bolo 2. Wow. Yeah, where where, where is that too. wood from, the Coca Bolo? Uh, this is South Africa, uh, South, America, uh, South America. Yeah, Mexico. It's not related to coconut, right? No, <laughs> not at all. It's actually uh, uh, in the rosewood species. Oh, so, rosewood species. Okay. Yeah. Very, very brown. Very brown wood. Some orange and red in it. So that's the back. Also. Wow. Yeah. Usually with spider web. Yeah. So when did you start building guitars? Uh, I, how old are you? First of all, I don't even know how old you guys are. <laughs> I'm I'm 26. 26. Uh, wow, yeah. that's very young. It has been one year since I started uh, this workshop here. Wow. I finished the school as Loic did uh, last year, and I started the, the, the workshop with Loic as soon as I get out of the school. So it's a free year training, and yeah, as Loic said, it it deserves to be maybe more known in the world. Even if it's like French speaking mm -hmm. class, but very, very nice place to. to and how old to, are you? 29. 29. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, I feel uh, like an old guy next to you. I'll be, I'll be 30 <laughs> in November this year. Wow. I'm That's gonna be 40 really... next week. So I'm, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to it though. <laughs> All right. First time I'm the oldest guy in the room. <laughs> and yeah, so. Here is the I first design. Yeah, let's go oh, into the light so we can see it better under this light, it's good. All right, show it to us. What's the name of this guitar? It's a Grand Auditorium okay. model uh, with a Western Red Cedar top and Wenge back and side. Very dark, dark wood too. Uh, with some Art Deco style uh, inserts here. Sweet. Maple bind binding, so to contrast with the with the black of the the, the Wenge. Also Wenge bridge and uh, a bony fingerboard with uh, Honduran mag mahogany neck. Honduran mahogany back and the back of the side is Wenge. That's the name of the wood. Yeah, Wenge. Wenge, and that's where is that wood from? From Africa. From Africa. Yeah, very All good right. substitute and, to and Brazilian rosewood. And what is this rosewood. called? These inlays, uh, yeah. it's uh, it's just inlays. I designed uh, inspired with uh, Art Deco style uh, nice. decorations. So this is Wenge, and the and the top over here is also yeah. The headstock is Wenge too, with the same kind of inlays on the head, reminding the the inlays on the back. Beautiful. A very responsive guitar. Yeah, I played it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. play some more on it in a few minutes. Yeah, we hope so. <laughs> So yeah, I had a lot of fun on this one. Um, How long did it take you to build this one? Uh, around 200 hours, maybe 250. As we say, the, the finishing is... When you start the finishing, you know you have done half of the job of building a guitar. For finishing <laughs> is most of the job, right? Yeah, even if all the guitar is built, you, you still have a, a long way to go to, to finish the, the whole so instrument. So what's the next project that you have? Uh, actually, I mean, I'm, wait a second. This is this is something you recently built, right? Yeah, this is the not the last one, but just one before. The last one is a OM model, which okay. uh, I, I do both now at the same time, one Grand Auditorium and one OM, uh, in order to 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 present them at the Quebec Guitar. Uh, yeah, there's festival. a show coming up soon, yeah, right? In November. So, when is it in November? Why is it? 
When? 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 Um, beginning of November, maybe the three and four of November. The third and fourth of November yeah. in Montreal, right? Uh, no, in Quebec, and uh, oh, in there Quebec. will be a Sonor Festival in Montreal, end of September, the twenty first to twenty third. Twenty first in Montreal. September, yeah. Nice yeah. place to be uh, if you're staying in Montreal at this time. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> but I'm gonna miss it. But whoever's watching this, maybe they, they would want to go. We they hope it, so. They do it every year. Uh, that's the second edition of this festival. So, yeah, last year was pretty good. I heard. Luke was nice. there last year. So this is the OM, right? Yeah, this is the OM model. All right. This one is a Sitka spruce top with a sapeli back inside. What kind of wood is sapelli? Where is it from? Uh, it's from Africa. Uh, it looks like mahogany in a way, but uh, way way harder than mahogany is, uh, with like ebony inlays on it. Beautiful. Same kind of inlays as the Grand Auditorium one, and a black uh, black neck for this one too. So, so what kind of wood is the neck? It's kaya, which is uh, African mahogany. Uh, black stained. Wow, beautiful. This one was a uh, particularly dense uh, and heavy. I've never seen this type of uh, fretboard before. Yeah, yeah, usually. Sapelli? That's yeah. what it's called? Yeah, sapelli. It's like a pretty hard uh, sample of wood I had on this one, so I, I could afford to make a fingerboard with it without risking it too. Wow. And yeah, ebony, uh, Makassar Ebony Bridge on this one. So, Beautiful. this one is the last one I So built. the difference between this one and the uh, Grand Auditorium is the size? This is the an size, OM size, right? Yeah, yeah this is an uh, OM size. I, I designed the, 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 the details, but I, I get inspired from Martin uh, OM size. Beautiful. Bang. All right. I'm gonna warm up and check out your guitars now. Yeah, we can't <laughs> wait to hear them. <laughs>